I, I'd like to ask um, what you think the address needs to accomplish this morning. And then I'd like to follow and ask what you think the Senate needs and will do uh, as it is on the receiving end to a lot of proposals in the coming weeks. Well, I think the theme that has to be addressed, and I know will be addressed, is one of unity, of uh, ability to come together, to recognize the tremendous challenges we face as a nation, to realize the history we've just experienced, and to do as much as possible to create a, an environment of comity and of consensus. That's not easy, but I think if anybody can do it, Joe Biden will. There's former President Clinton uh, and former First Lady and Secretary of State uh, and Senator Hillary Clinton as well, making their way uh, to their seats. As for the Senate, um, uh, Leader Daschle, uh, can power be shared effectively in this environment or not? Well, the last time we had a 50-50 Senate, I was fortunate enough to be the majority leader. I had a remarkable partner in Trent Lott. We worked through a lot of challenges together. It took us about three weeks to get to the organizing resolution completion. But we were able to do it in part because we trusted each other, we talked with each other, we involved each other, we talked to our caucuses and brought them together. That same effort is going to have to be a big part of the challenge of the two leaders now. Working together, which I know is always difficult, especially under these circumstances, is really going to be essential. They've got so much on their plate. They have an impeachment. They have the COVID crisis. They have a robust agenda. They have the challenges of overcoming what we just experienced within the last two weeks. All of that together presents challenges that Trent Lott and I didn't have, but have to be addressed successfully. Yeah, Senator, I mean, as we did just see those images um, of the Clintons, uh, and to your point, I mean, does this feel like a, a similar setup uh, that you experienced? Uh, or are there some key differences that we need to keep in mind, too, given the fact that it's not just the Republican Party that has gone through some major changes, uh, fundamental changes and ideological changes, but also the Democratic one? Well, that's right. Uh, time doesn't stand still, and we've seen a lot of change in the last 20 years. I would say social media has been one of the biggest factors and catalytic in creating the kinds of political circumstances we're facing today. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.